Now, KX Sports with David Gibson. Surrey defensive back Randy Pullum says when you play this position, you have to have a little bit of swagger. As in the words of Jim Mora, playoffs? <laughs> We're talking about playoffs? That's next week. We have some good games before then. I feel the Rugby Panthers are excited to be back at the region tournament after a rocky regular season, but it's a production from bench players that push him back to the semifinals. He's going to drive baseline. He floats one up, but Carson Yell climbs the ladder to throw it down. Flex on him, young fella. Head coach Mike Zimmer says the Honkers offensive play style is going from inside to outside. Now time winding down the first. Minot State's Amber Steffen collects the rebound drives. She throws up the half-court prayer and banks it in. Someone get Luke on the phone. That needs to be in the top plays. Aggie's feeling it from downtown. Lillian Effers lines it up, and it's nothing but net. And I guess it's raining threes in Velva. Coach, at the beginning of the season, we talked about getting here to the state tournament. You're here. How do you and your kids feel? Fredrickson fakes the handoff. Then he's going to throw it to Jace Nelson, who makes a move. And see you later. 82 yards for the touchdown run. There's a lot of great basketball last, these last couple of days. These girls made me miss playing, man. I wanted to get out there with them. But I can't wait to see how these qualifiers and championship games play out. I'm here in Crosby at Divide County High School where one volleyball player is showing triumph in the midst of tragedy. I was kind of shocked. Like, I didn't, I didn't believe it for a while until, you know, I had to get back in the role of living with it. And I, it just took me a while to cope with it and just believe that it happened. It was just an ordinary day for Jenkins and her family when the unexpected happened. Me and my family were involved in a fatal car accident on our way back from vacation. Um, my two sisters and father were diagnosed with TBIs and my mom passed away and I had, my arm had been severely injured to where they had amputated off. Jenkins is defying the odds on and off the court. She said her mindset had to change for her to get back to her team. There, worse things could have happened and I can still do the things that I love and want. Just, it just takes a little more effort and it, it changed my life for sure, but it really could have been worse. Her coach Nicole Bertman says Jenkins is a resilient player. Mariah has been through a lot, and she has never quit. She just keeps on trying to do her best and to improve no matter what happens because she could have just given up and not come back to volleyball. She's the heart of the team. She's the attitude. Mariah Jenkins says her support system is motivating her to keep pushing forward in life and the sport of volleyball. Family, my friends, and sports is a big thing that keeps me going because if it wasn't for them or sports, then I really wouldn't know what to do. In the game of life, no matter what adversity you may face, with will, determination, and a fighting spirit, you will win. I never knew I'd come this far. I never thought, especially when I was in the hospital, I'd be, that I'd be back on the court with my team, and I'm just super excited and happy that I am. I think it's been a big mentality change. They've kind of bought in, like I said. They're, they know what they're capable of, and they're confident in their capability. After losing to rugby by three in the region tournament last season, the Panthers know they're close when it comes to being a contender. We can do anything as long as we put our mind to it. We are such a strong team, and we just need to believe in ourselves. That belief led to a win over rugby on Saturday. Head coach Jordan Peterson says the girls have high goals after that result. Not coming out flat's huge. If we can start off at a good tempo, we usually play pretty well. Work hard, get at it every day, and not take anyone for granted and just use everyone that we have because we're all talented. I think it's going to take some hard work, obviously, and I think that we need to have confidence in ourselves and our each other's abilities because we are a good team. The Panthers believe their 1-3-1 defense is a key ingredient in making it to Minot. It'll be good. A lot of transition buckets come out of that and kind of keeps our tempo and our energy up when we can get some big stops and trap. It's super important. We work super hard on defense, and I just I think we can we can do it. Defense is what wins games, in my opinion, and I think that our defense is really strong, and we can shut down a lot of those big scoring teams. Transfer Deanna Hines and other young players are stepping up leading to better depth for the Panthers. Um, it definitely keeps us all together. I mean, getting five on the floor that know how I'm trying to get them to play and know our defenses and our schemes and sets. They all five know it. It's pretty easy to do a lot of different different looks. Reporting in Glenburn, David Gibson, KX Sports.